Morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us on the program. Thank you, Leanne. Thank you for having me on the show. It's a pleasure. And I suppose I, before we get into the interview, I need to congratulate you for your father. Um, I believe he was given an honorary oh, doctorate. Because is that the reason that you're in Durban? Were you attending this, uh, the handover yes. yesterday? Good. Congratulations. Indeed, please. indeed. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Please send our congratulations to him and uh, very well deserved. He really does. Um, Chichi, onto this very serious issue. South Africans are, we are, we're very welcoming. We're very hospitable people. But, but how has the, these recent attacks tainted our image abroad? The recent uh, incidences have really been unfortunate and uh, have impacted uh, quite uh, badly on the uh, image of South Africa. Uh, as you know, uh, post the 1994 elections uh, where we ushered uh, the democracy that we have, uh, the constitution that we have, uh, that uh, every country in the world wanted to model their uh, democracies on. Um, and we've seen really legacies of uh, Madiba coming through, underpinning uh, the identity of South Africans and uh, the Ubuntu uh, that uh, we say defines South Africa. Uh, and the, also, you know, how we managed to, uh, uh, div to, to accept the diversity that South Africa has. That has always been the image of South Africa. The World Cup 2010 also demonstrated uh, our greatness, uh, our Ubuntu, our openness. Um, and the world really looked at South Africa uh, with pride. And, and uh, many countries wanted to model some of their institutions uh, uh, alongside uh, what South Africa has done. So yeah. what has happened really in the past uh, couple of weeks has really been unfortunate. Uh, it has shocked uh, everybody in South Africa and it has shocked uh, many other countries in the world. Uh, and we are beginning to see some ripple effects of uh, the impact, the negative impact uh, uh, of, of what has been happening. Yeah. Of course, some are just murmurs and rumors, uh, but I think the real impact of this we will see over the next uh, coming months. Yeah. We haven't really truly felt the, 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 the real impact of uh, the, the, the incidences that have happened uh, recently. I mean, you talk of rumors and murmurs, which is, which is you know, it is unfortunate it and that is a repercussion of it but um, you know there's 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 also solid things that have been done Botswana China UK yes. travel advice uh, warnings not to come to South Africa uh, also warning foreign nationals that are in the country uh, to perhaps you know um, stay away from these hotspots maybe even leave the, the the country I mean again this must have a massive massive damage on our country abroad and for your work uh, to build brand SA's reputation it makes my work even more difficult. <laughs> Indeed, I imagine. Um, you know, the work of Brand South Africa is not only the work of Brand South Africa. The work of nation building is uh, uh, its a collective. It's a responsibility of each and every South African to make sure that we define that that is South African and uh, then promote and position South Africa as a globally uh, competitive country. So we always call upon each South African to play their part in contributing towards uh, making the image of South Africa what it should be. Uh, and of course, uh, there are uh, issues that have been raised around uh, current incidences, around the fundamentals of uh, the, the, the what uh, is the perception of what has uh, caused the incidences. And those are being addressed uh, at various sectors uh, by various uh, uh, groupings. Uh, and of course, they talk to the main issues of the NDP. Uh, but however, the, the, the uh, entire image of the country, South Africa's uh, uh, link with the continent uh, is so intertwined that uh, you cannot extricate uh, South Africa out of uh, the rest of the continent. We are the continent. We mm. are part of uh, Africa. And uh, our openness uh, in the discussions that uh, go on with the uh, free trade area that has been discussed, uh, which is going to include 26 uh, countries, uh, 
uh, promoting intra-trade uh, with Africa. Those are things that are going to be uh, creating markets for our businesses in South Africa. Those are things that are going to be encouraging movements of goods and services uh, uh, within Africa. So, you know, those are some of the elements that uh, we should always be mindful of and, and, and not lose focus of uh, when we build an integrated Africa. Indeed. Uh, Chichi Mapanya, thank you very much for talking to us. I know there's more to talk about, but uh, I think giving us an idea as to the work that Brand SA doing to try and um, get over what has happened over these last few, um, last few weeks with xenophobia. Uh, Chichi is the chairperson of Brand SA. Again, thank you so much. Let's take a break. Thank we'll you. have more after this. Stay tuned.